Hey folks, long time no see. <laughs> uh, this is Matt AK Slash, and we are playing on Carnus Terra. Blink. Forgot to turn this off for the intro. Anyway, <laughs> here we are on Carnus Terra after a bit of a delay since the last episode. I think it's been like two, three weeks, something like that. Uh, but I have been busy off camera, even as the family fights off illness and whatnot, colds galore with me and the wife and the kids and it's just it was not an easy november to uh to live i guess in this house but uh getting back into the recording spirit here uh so let's talk about this thing first <laughs> it's, it's it's right here uh this is the new way up to the cloud over there uh, I wanted a system that pretty much anybody could use, and I wanted to be able to take mobs up as well, if necessary. Now, I'm realizing right now I can't fit a 2x2 two two mob in here, so I may have to redo parts of this here in the near future. But it works pretty well for a single person, and it has a little boat elevator system going. You press the button, it comes up a little bit stops on these solid blocks because it's kind of in this glass a little bit. You right click on it to hop in and then you just push forward a little bit to break out of the block and up you go. It is a long column of staggered water sources and the boat just floats up the center here and the center is all signs. Okay and whenever it stops like this that means you're actually at the top because of the server lag. So if I just push and hold forward and wait a little bit, eventually pop! <laughs> the server and the client realize where I'm supposed to be and they send me straight upstairs. I've got uh, some of the spare boats in my inventory right now. But you come up inside this fountain up here and this is the design I've got for the landing area thus far. I may widen this a bit, make this a little bit bigger. Uh, I haven't quite decided yet. This is just sort of take a way to get up here more than anything else. Uh, and I'm looking at this now. I think I want to put some slabs on top of these T's. But I spent some time at the server's uh, guardian, that's what they're called, guardian farm. Getting the prismarine shards and, and uh, whatever the various components are uh, to make, I guess this is crystals, shards and crystals, is that what it is? Uh, to make all of the new uh, water temple blocks. Because uh, I wanted to do that theme here since it's a water-based method of getting up here. Uh, but then you can come across the bridge here, and here's the entrance to the storage room. Which uh, I think I had most of this, if not all of this part done before. I moved, put an armor stand out here just for fun, because uh, I didn't really know where else to put it. I may put another one on that side and have them be kind of like statues on either side of the door. Uh, but I have completed three quarters of the exterior of this building. This is what the long sides look like. Uh, I wanted to sort of alternate back and forth here to match the alternating chests on the inside that we'll see in a bit. Uh, and then of course the pillars are on either end. And, uh, yeah, I, I just mucked about in creative until I found something that I liked and then reproduced it here. Uh, and it was nice. I think it's the first time I've really used the circle blocks for anything, you know, significant. <laughs> uh, and we can come around the back here. This little water pillar is temporary. That was simply my test to see if water would freeze uh, above Y equals 128 in a swamp. And it appears that it does not. So, I may have to look into a different biome, or maybe just use, um... I, I was gonna construct a an ice cube tray like I had on the last map in the Extreme Hills biome. But, uh, maybe I'll just use the one that's off in that direction somewhere instead of making my own. Because it would be somewhat inconvenient to find a biome near here, I think, that would support it. Because this is all... Uh, swamp here, and then we go into birch forest over there. It might work in birch forest, I don't know. I think that's a floating treetop. <laughs> uh, 
But, uh, yeah, and these, this here, these are the components to, oops, that's the, just the shovels. These are the components to the snowball maker. I'm gonna reconstruct that in the back here at some point once I have this finished up. You'll note here a bunch of hoppers. I'll explain the purpose behind those in a moment. This side looks the same as the other. And then we pop through here. And there's the storage room thus far. Uh, this is going to come across uh, and sort of wrap around here uh, with the stairs, forming kind of a U-shape. And then, uh, and then obviously, this will all be closed in on that side. And then the reason that those hoppers are there is that I want to have a system, and that's what we're going to work on here shortly, where I can feed fuel into these hoppers through a central place. I want to basically drop fuel down in here. And let's see if I can do this without too much trouble. Okay, and then we'll cut across this way. Uh, it was a little too far. <laughs> Which I kind of expected, so we'll close that up like that. Okay, so what the idea is that... Uh, I'm going to have a water stream down here, and let me just cut through here so I can use a shortcut. So the water stream's there, right? Like so. So I drop my fuel in, it runs down here, turns the corner, and then comes over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the fence system, which... Me, where do I keep my buckets? Let's grab. I think I'm going to need just one more of those. Um, but we're going to do the whole item elevator thing, which means I don't think I need any more of these. We're going to grab some stone brick. I think will be sufficient. And then I need fences, which actually would be up here. We need two of those, just in case you've never seen this system before. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, actually. Uh, we'll do... I think I just need two glass, actually. And... That should about do it, really. So let's go pop through here. Oh! Mm, shoot. That's actually not as low as I wanted it. Darn it. Uh, give me my silk touch pick. I actually want it one lower because I want to put the trap door here. That was the component that I'm missing. Words, they fail me. Let's just break these by hand. Shovel is too good. I don't want to uh, mess this up. Okay, and then here... And here, we're going to have the glass. And the glass is so that the fences don't connect. So let's put the ice back down. And then the fences go like that. So the items go into the stream. They come here. They hit the corner. They all kind of pile up against the wall. And then they slide past he here. And they slide in with such uh, velocity that they hit this full block and start shooting straight up through. So... Starting here, it's going to be all solid on the way up. And it'll pass up through the blocks and pop out the top. So let's go ahead and put that back in place. So let's see if I can demonstrate it here. If I throw a few of these in, they shoot around the corner. Uh, did they pop up there? Yeah, they did. They popped up there. Perfect. All right, let's pick this up again for the time being. And let's go have a sleep. Because it's raining, and I don't like the rain. I wish you could sleep rain away like that in real life. Like, oh, it's raining, I'll just go to sleep. And then it'll all go away. But then I figure, oh, you know what, this needs to come over one more. What am I thinking? Uh, and I think we don't really need ice under the last one, so this should be fine still. Why is... Oh, that's where the light is. Like, why is it so bright? Oh, darn you! 
Oh, I'm not going to be able to put glass there, then, if that's going to... Huh, alright. I need something else that's not going to connect to the... Let's put this glass back. We'll use stairs. Stairs and, like, um... Uh... Wow, I'm just all over the place. Stairs won't connect to these steps, see? So that's what we're going to use. I need ice again then, but uh, first off, I'm sort of wasting the silk touch at the moment, but that's fine. Uh, let's get rid of, yeah, let's just get rid of this. Okay, so if I place a stair here, and then we'll place another one on the other side. Let's put that back, and then this can go back. And then we want stair there, okay. Now let's close that off. Boom, boom. So it should be, oops, I forgot the ice. Thankfully, we're building this for the storage room, so it's not too hard to get items that I've forgotten to grab. So that should be good. I don't think that's going to melt now, because the light level should not come through. There we go. Okay, now... Now we build this up. So it's going to go there, and then we start making a T-shape, or a plus shape, like this. With this wall here providing some of that. All right, so it pops up here. Now, if we do this, and we extend this all along here, and we'll need to do the same here, and this will all be hidden once the ceiling is done. So we can do that. And place another water stream there. Perfect, and let's just cover that up in the most haphazard way possible. Success! Give me that. Nope. So now the items will pop up the water stream and they'll pass over the hoppers. And the hoppers feed into the furnaces. So let's see if we can't test that out. I will need to switch to a water bucket once again. Throw that there. I'm going to have to fill these back up again at some point. Okay, so what we want to test it with is if I take charcoal out of there. Now, if I throw the charcoal in there, it goes around, should shoot up into the water stream, and then there it goes. Starts filling in there. So it comes in here because that's the first hopper it uh, hits. Eventually, it will fill up that hopper, and it'll fill up these other hoppers, and it'll actually start passing. Okay, so that went 32 and stopped. There's another hopper back there, one of the ones in this chain here, that will um, that has 32 sitting in the hopper. It's probably this one? No. Maybe it's this one. Yep, it's that one. So basically, it's just... I don't want to have to worry too much about the mechanics of it. There's a whole bunch of uh, stuff that I could do to try and sort it a little bit better or distribute it more evenly, but I'm not too concerned about that. Mainly what I want here is I just want a system where I could just throw any fuel that I have right into the box there, and I don't have any... What are they called? <laughs> trap doors. So I want to put a trap door here. Put it on there like that. And so I just have to flip that down. Throw my fuel in. And it'll just fill it up over time. All of the various hoppers back there. So let's just go ahead and grab all of this. Now I'm just going to do the charcoal for now. Because I'm kind of reluctant to use the regular coal as fuel because you can make it into these blocks. Which can be cool for building purposes. So I've been avoiding using those. Uh, let's go ahead and just toss in 
everything except for this 22 here. We'll hang on to that to make torches on the move, if necessary. But that should do the trick in terms of refueling these furnaces, and I'll just favor this one and kind of work my way across this way as I cook stuff. So if I am just need one furnace, it goes in there, and as I need more, I just sort of spread across, and this one would be the last one that would be favored. And I think that will work out fine, but we will see with practical experience. Now let's get... Uh, I don't need these, but let's go ahead and get all of the stairs. Let's see if we can't get this built up over here. Uh, let's see, I need... Can't quite... Oh, nope, that's not going to do it. Oh, let's put the silk touch away, too. Uh, boom. Boom. You'll notice 18 wither skulls. We'll have a wither fight here pretty shortly. Uh, let's get the ladders. That'll make things a little bit easier. But yeah, we'll have a wither fight pretty soon, or several wither fights or something, in order to uh, put those skulls to good use, get some beacons going. I haven't decided quite yet where I want the beacons to go around here, because this is just one building of the uh, base establishment. Yeah, let's see, I guess we'll go, it's there, and then here. Oh, I need slabs, that's right. Let's see, does that look correct? It looks a little bit weird there, I guess, but I think I'm okay with it. I mean, it still opens because it's a stair up there. Yeah, I'll take that. That looks good. So let's go ahead and grab... Let's see, put this, these, these away. We'll just pillar up. Uh, but I need the slabs. And I'm going to need more slabs than that. So let's go ahead and make a few. I instinctively go for the crafting table underneath the bed for some reason. But I've got my anvil and ender chest under there. I've got all the crafting tables a person could need over there, and I don't think to look for them there. Don't know why. Alright, so now we can... Oops. We can slab this up. Okay, and this should be a slab. Excellent. Now, let's see. We need... Actually, I'm going about this all wrong. I think I need to wait on slabbing that part until I've got the other set of stairs in. So we're going to need to stand. Uh, let's see, I guess they need to go... Actually, they need to go here. Is this going to do it? No. I'm going to need to build some scaffolding. So yeah, we will put these in. <laughs> I don't know what I want out of my life. Let's see. I guess we'll just do this. I just I want to avoid mob spawning, but I don't want to put torches if I can get away with it. There we go. Oops. Because the torches give off particles. They give off that smoke particle effect, and I want to avoid that, if at all possible. Even though you're probably not going to see it. But, call me a perfectionist, I suppose. Okay, I think that's all the surfaces up here. So that should be good. Let's hop down. Uh-oh. Huh. That's odd. One of the stacks ended up out here for some reason. Wonder why that is. Let's go ahead and just cover up the track as much as we can here. Will they let me? No. Because the hoppers have a crazy hitbox. Let's see, if I go like this. Okay. 
Hopefully that'll work. I'm not exactly sure what the problem was, though, so we'll see. We'll run around back to the front door. Uh, it's kind of weird now how dark it is in here, but that's okay. Let's sleep off the night. And then we'll finish up the ceiling. Uh, I need that. Uh, I need to throw this in. Excellent. Now let's head up this way. And if I'm going to do... This... Oh, wow, really? Amazing. There. Now, if I'm gonna do the stairs... I'm gonna do a stair like that, so this isn't actually gonna be here. And then what that means is that we gotta do slabs across like this. <laughs> uh to that, do that. Now we can do this. We can actually just place them up against there. Perfect. And then these guys go against there like that. And that should finish the look. Yep, that'll do it. I might put some lights up there, though. Because it seems very... Dark. I mean, it's lit enough in here. No mobs are going to spawn, but just for aesthetic purposes. I'll have to think about that and decide what to do. Uh, and yeah, everything looks good through the chest. You can see the exterior wall there with the blue stained clay. And nothing, you know, non-pleasing, like cobble or anything like that, that may have thought to be hidden. Uh, but I think that does it for the storage room. I've actually got given myself more storage than I need, as it turns out. I've got uh, these four chests here have absolutely no nothing in them. Most of these chests over here don't have anything. Uh, and then this one here doesn't have anything. And I've even been storing, like, iron and gold. Uh, because iron... I was gifted a bunch of iron from the squid because he has an iron farm. And then gold, I've been storing up... Or uh, stockpiling gold for uh, beacon pyramids from the zombie pigman gold farm because I'd rather not have to go mine all of that especially because I might put multiple beacons in multiple locations and I would in order to extend the area and that would take a lot more gold if I were to do it that way so we'll see but uh, let's go ahead and head on back down drop off these boats and uh, I think we'll finish up the episode by checking out... I've got uh, Slime Block here, that's why I bounced back up. By checking out a few things in the area, just to see what other folks have been up to. So we can reload the boats right through here. Spiffy! There's just a, a simple line of redstone that curves down underneath here and powers the dispenser. I'm going to build a path here. I started on it, and I'm not exactly sure of a lot of things, apparently, because I keep saying that. But I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with the path. I think I'm going to use the slabs about halfway there and then transition over to a different style. And it's going to come up. It's going to come up like around this way, I think, and connect in. At some point, it's going to connect in right here. So I'm thinking maybe I'll try and come across this way a little bit. And then curve around. And then meet up and just kind of go straight across that way. But i got to figure out what to do with the terrain. Because the terrain's kind of gross in the swamp. So I may create maybe like a little suspension bridge kind of thing. Not a suspension bridge, uh, but uh, put a bridge. You know, a little land bridge just to even out the the walk without changing the terrain too much. Because if I can, I like to make the build fit the terrain rather than making the terrain fit the build, you know? Sorry if I sound a little stuffy all of a sudden, but uh, I'm still fighting off the cold. Plus with the uh, cold weather, we've got the heat on and that just dries out the sinuses and I tend to be stuffy pretty much all winter. 
It doesn't appear that there's a whole lot going on. I got that lovely spawn frame rate lag. Uh, but it seems like most stuff around spawn, anyway, has pretty much been staying the same. Uh, I gotta talk to Vol and see what plans he has for the spawn building, or if he wants somebody to take that over. Because nothing much has been happening there, and there's a couple of pieces of it that obviously aren't done yet. Uh, Snowshoe, I gave him the, uh, the plans for the full sheep sorter wool farm thing. Uh, in, off of a creative mode, and he said he was going to look into design options and try and uh, come up with a plan for that, so hopefully we'll hear from him soon. Good lord, the frame rate lag right now. Sugar cane farm's doing well. People have been making use of it because it was fuller than this last time I checked, so that's nice to see. Uh, I may off-camera put in a timer for the water, because it does seem especially laggy over here with the water always going. I don't know if that's just sound, like client-side problem, and maybe uh, not everybody would have that. Or whether that's actually like a server-wide thing that everybody would have it. I don't know. Uh, but I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Nothing much else to talk about around here. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do next time, to be honest with you, so you're just going to have to tune in to find out. So thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, hopefully the video frequency will improve. November, I, like I said, was a rough month with illness, uh, but I make no promises because now we're getting into the holidays, and uh, I'm going to be spending prioritizing spending time with family over spending time producing videos for YouTube, but I do have a thought or two about what I might do to get through this sort of winter, not hiatus, I guess, but the the winter time, uh, I guess you could call it a hiatus from video producing that I expect to experience. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. These cows love me.